And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Phil Foden plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. Walker for the pass that lacks quality. But it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable. And we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. And the ball in behind the defenders. Shape to shoot. Oh, jumper by the goalkeeper. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. Can he finish? And it has arrived, the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So, back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Vardiol. Rodri. That's a good ball. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Well, it came to nothing in the end. shortage of space for Barcelona oh the threat is there and Lewandowski waiting and clears his lines the inside route looks promising oh blocked it well after pressing like that maybe the short route to goal Just look how Lewandowski glides past his opponent. And then De Jong's shot is absolutely brilliant. He hits it with such power. He's a top-class player. So 
2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Walker. On to Silva. Grealish. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Erling Haaland! Defending. Lewandowski. Well, nearing the half-time interval, and Manchester City still trailing. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts. Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good chances and look threatening, but they need to be better defensively in the second half. They just can't afford to concede again. Lewandowski. Gundogan. Great defending. So a corner for Barca. What can they do with it? Playing it in. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Corner again. Still be dangerous. Joao Felix. Romeo. Now with Lewandowski. And did just enough defensively. The first half here comes to an end. Sounding the second half into action, it's Barcelona with the lead here. Vadiol. Now with Silva. Decent looking pass, really well positioned. Or couldn't bend his run and the flag went up. <laughs> Joao Felix. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in there. Vardiol on to Silva nice looking pass looking for the right angle and fire against the crossbar and they can't quite take advantage in the end and the counter attack is on options available Lewandowski Making progress. Can't miss, surely. And the cross not quite accurate enough. A 
bit wasteful from City. Now Lewandowski carries the ball forward. But can he produce from this position? Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. And Barcelona get ready for the set-piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. And how about the short corner? Cross fired over. Strike forward for the keeper. Phil Foden now. Grealish. More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveller. A oh, nice ball over the top. He'll try his luck here. Well, able to close down the short. Good run and good ball control. Fernando Silva. Holland. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. promising Kunde here's Rafinha and the flag has gone up offside and they're making a change Silva now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now can he finish well he could have put it away again but credit to the goalkeeper well, the way he's playing he's surely going to get his second goal soon here Can they pick out? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then Holland demonstrates his ability in the air. He judges the flight, meets it solidly, and beats the keeper. That's how to head a ball. Two goals apiece in this one. Frankie de Jong. It's with Gundogan. Lewandowski. Barcelona on the front foot in anticipation of scoring the winner. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. He going to go really smart stop and no advantage for either side here and he's kept his team on level terms here that was a really top class save
And there's the delivery. Not the best clearance. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. possibilities Gundogan here's Rafinha and played in well how about that Barcelona forge ahead in the Champions League final with time running out Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. It's Barcelona's Champions League! Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel...